A new deal of the day has been spotted and this time we are on the AUD JPY and please allow me to share with you uh, this setup for this pair. So most likely if we check the daily chart we can notice right here that most likely this pair has actually failed to make the bullish breakout from the level of the resistance 83.300 and look at this daily candle the last daily candle which is gonna close after exactly 2 hours and 20 minutes I believe that most likely this candle will close as a pin bar pin bar is actually a good indicator for starting shorting the pair so most likely with this strong bearish movement, I believe that most likely the pair is going to continue the fall after the closure of this daily candle. Now, after confirming the direction on the daily chart, let's move to the four hour time frame. And here I want to tell you something, my friends. If you have actually watched my videos before, I told you several times that we have to consider looking for the real level of the resistance. Now, by checking this chart right here, we can notice that the level of... 83.321 is the real level of the resistance where the market has already been reversing. Every single time the market has made a bullish breakout out of that level of the resistance, it has become an, uh, a false or a fake breakout. Check the history. We can see it right here and right here and right here and right here and right here finally. So meaning the bullish breakout from that level of the resistance has never happened and most likely uh, when, whenever the market has made the bearish breakout like, like this uh, or created the false breakout, the market has immediately been respecting that level of a resistance. So by checking the history, we can see clearly right, uh, right here, the false breakout respected the real level of the resistance. Another false breakout and reverse right here as we can see respected the real level of the resistance and again this is a false breakout and again the market respected the real level of the resistance so most likely i believe that the aud gpy will have a similar behavior once it makes another pullback and reaches the same level of the resistance on 83.321 so I think it's going to be a good idea to start shorting the pair. But of course, we have to be always careful about our funds and never trust the signal to the maximum. I mean, not fully trusted to enter with all of uh, all, I mean, big lots or um, your entire uh, account in this signal. Please don't ever do that. Uh, this is just like any other signal. It has a potential of failing. So please be careful and wise about it anyway. Another thing is I want to go to the 30 minute time frame to show you this. So on the 30 minute time frame, we are having right here, this support trend line. That support trend line, as we can see, has been breaking out from with this bearish breakout candle, which means that most likely, let me just draw it correctly, like that, exactly just like the perfect. So by that, we can see that the market has actually a potential to retest that broken support trend line to create a new resistance trend line. And again, that strong uh, resistance level, that strong key resistance level most likely is going gonna, is gonna to keep its position again as a resistance trend line. So far, you can see that, the, the, look at that, the candle is actually falling. We can see the power of the bearish movement. It is really strong and powerful. And look at that, the candle is still falling. I think shorting is the only way for the AOD GPY at the moment. We have to wait for the pair to rise to another 21 or 22 pips before we can start shorting it again. Right now, the pair actually might be facing a support level right here at 83.069. I believe the pair is going to make a pullback after reaching that level of a support and after that is going to reach that level of the resistance. So it's going to actually give us some good time to post this video before this signal is active. Therefore, sell the pair at 83.321. Now, if the pair has went in the right direction as I'm expecting, we can expect from the pair to continue the fall all the way to reach the level of the strong key support level exactly right here. And let's just be accurate, exactly right here at 82.713, which means we're aiming approximately 60 pips profit from the signal. Uh, let me just check again, again, one hour time frame. Yeah, that's the maximum. I can't go lower than that. Sorry. For the safe zone or the stop loss, the stop loss will be placed exactly right here 
uh, because if the pair has ever been able to reach the level of the resistance, it means that this level of the real resistance hasn't been respected, sadly, which means our stop loss will be placed at 31 pips. So therefore, that's going to be our stop loss at 83.629. Meanwhile, the take profit level is going to play, be placed at 82.713. Guys, please, again, I have to remind everyone, be careful about this trade. It's just any like any other signal. It might fail. I'm not promising anything. I'm not promising you guys that this will be working 100%. It might fail. So please remember that you as a Forex trader, you are an investor, meaning you can invest about $200 on this trade and make sure that your stop loss will be only on $200. If you are not ready to lose higher than that or more than that, then please don't do it. Don't place a higher bet on this trade. It's just a trade like any others. So again, I think this is uh, my warning for everyone, whoever, whoever want to uh, enter with big lot on this trade, that's my warning for you. And I have cleared my side. Now the rest is up to you how to handle this signal. So anyway, I hope it's going to be a good deal and hopefully we will uh, make good profits out of it. So until then, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.